Howe, and welcome back to the GAC Group 2015 ITTF World Tour China Open Super Series. I'm Adam Bobro, and we're here in Chengdu, China, for the women's singles quarterfinals, where Chinese favorite Liu Shuan is going to be playing against Singapore's Feng Tianwei. Feng Tianwei has been causing more damage to the international squads. The Chinese players and pretty much everyone else than any other female in modern history for table tennis. We're having a little dance performance here, more than dance. A combination of martial arts. Not sure if you can see the big screen on screen. I'm gonna get the specifics here. Reminds me a little bit of some wushu I've seen. Just got confirmation from a local that it is Wushu. There's a performer on the lower right side of the screen, in and out of frame, or in the center on the big screen here in the arena. It's in those cuffs. Up. Oh, he had T on the end. A little element of surprise there. Reducing the tee, pouring it from up high, swinging it all around. Some entertainment for the crowd as the players decide who's going to serve, who's going to receive, where they're going to stand. Over the back. He's pouring it. Pouring it in the third cup. This is one of many demonstrations. The work ethic here in China, not a single drop outside of the cup, never drops the stick, the water, the tea, whatever it is he's pouring. The work ethic here in China, just incredible. No matter what changes about the game of table tennis, they're working hard to stay on top. Now Feng Tianwei actually, born and raised in China, had a chance to talk to her, realized that she was not in a good position. I think she estimated herself to be around number 15 in the squad and thought she had more opportunities overseas. Lived in Japan for two years. Moved to Singapore after playing in Japan for a bit and has been quite effective playing for Singapore over the past several years. The attention she's been given as an athlete, as a top athlete, the training, the opportunities have just been incredible. She's been as high as world rank number four. Currently dipped just a little bit, world rank number seven. And while she's played nine matches against Lu Xuan on the world tour, she's won three of them, and she won the last time they played. That was at the 2015 Asian Cup. It was a 4-2 victory in the finals. There's Liu Yulin from Chinese Taipei, our head umpire. So Feng Tianwei, 28 years old, has four years advantage and experience over Lu Xuan. Some of the fans have been here since early this morning. Excited to see many matches. Still just a few left. We've got this one here and one more for the men with Marcos Freitas and Xu Xin. Xu Xin always exciting to watch. The cloud walker, as he's been called by coaches. But Feng Tianwei, athlete of the year many times in Singapore. Singapore Airlines constantly in the newspaper everywhere you look. Has the serve in this best of seven match. Strong opening forehand, some real pace. We don't see Liu Xiaowen backing off the table very often. Peng Tianwei managing to do it the first point of the match. Going aggressive for the inside out forehand. I think it's a strong strategy to start. Again, the underdog head-to-head -head and by world rankings, pretty much by all standards, despite beating Liu Xiaowen last time they played. Feng Tianwei knows she's gonna have to play an aggressive, out of her comfort zone game. Beautiful shot, Liu Xiaowen, no hesitation, out wide to the forehand side. Right off the bounce, Liu Xiaowen comfortable at the very back edge of the table.
Wide shot from Lucia, went off the bounce, deep to the backhand side. Bit of a surprise she was able to get it that wide past Feng Tian Wei. Feng Tian Wei was waiting on the backhand corner. Not really a lot of room to sneak it past. Spinny backhand forcing an uncomfortable shot. Seemed like Liu Xiaowen would have gone with the forehand there normally, pulling the backhand a little bit too wide to cover the middle. Fast long serve, but it goes out. Service there, Feng Tianwei giving it away. Push goes long, Feng Tianwei crawling back in, one point down. Tian Wei is able to control the ball and the angles quite well. Although similarly, Liu Xiuwen, they both are comfortable at the back of the table playing short strokes right off the bounce. Unbelievable angle from the backhand side, still hits it off the side of the table right on the white of the line. Watch this one more time. How does she do that? From the middle of the table would have been a little bit more understandable, but she was on the backhand side. Oh. Feng Tianwei with an outright service point. Now between the two players, you can expect to see Feng Tianwei stepping around and taking the forehand attack a little bit more. Forehand definitely more powerful for Feng Tianwei than her backhand. Only way in the corner. Of course for Lucia one. On the Singaporean side, Coach Jing. We've been seeing at many major events throughout the year for several years now with the Singaporean team. Standing shot, Feng Tianwei is going for it, shot after shot with the forehand, and Liu Xiuwen manages to bring it out to the middle of the table on that last ball. Interesting game. Feng Tianwei waiting, taking more forehands that rally. Step behind the table, see if she can step around. He goes for the big attack to the middle. Liu Xiuwen covers and brings it right back out to the middle of the table. Flip over the table, Feng Tianwei with the point. Modestly satisfied Coach Jing in the corner. Sort of a guarded optimism clap. Forehand flip over the table and the follow-up attack goes long. It's four game points for Liu Xiuwen. Players still getting used to the game point sound. You can see them shocked, looking up. Like, wait, not yet with the music. Strong backhand to the short side of the table. Feng Tianwei saves a game point. Had a sneeze into the microphone there from our MC. Rare occasion. And in the meantime, it's Liu Xiuwen who takes game one 11 to 7. Game two just after this. Enjoy some fun from our MC.
Back for game two. After the sneezing MC finished entertaining the crowd, Lucia went down 0 1 in games. I'm sorry, leading 1 0 in games over Feng Tianwei. But right now, Lucia Wen just seems in control, really pushing Feng Tianwei off the table. That's two. Sometimes Lucia Wen has a little bit more spin on the shot. Feng Tianwei is able to stay in at the table better. There's some spin, but the follow-up shot, look how low that is and right to the corner of the table. It's a very difficult shots for Lu Xiwen to make. Push into the forehand side. Feng Tianwei having more trouble this game than last. Oh. It's the first time we've seen Lucia one miss this game. Backhand down the middle of the table. If Feng Tianwei can do anything with the serve to sort of earn herself a more I don't know, I guess a higher percentage third ball attack could be very effective here. Inside out forehand over the table, followed up by a big one going long. So Fung's gonna have the serves now. It's tricky with the opponent on the other side of the table. Lu Xiwen exploits loose serves quite easily, reacts quickly to fast long serves. It's with such short strokes, too. I mean, it really gives her time to do all sorts of things. See, Lucia Wen just keeps her hand up, keeps the racket high. Her backhand stroke is like the one-inch punch of Bruce Lee, who is not actually playing table tennis with nunchucks. Heavy push deep on the table. Spin shot finds the net. And Coach Jing is going to have her work cut out for her at the break between games. Although this is the score Feng Tianwei came back from in Japan last year. Not this score though, 1-8 didn't happen, 1-7 yes. Let service, fortunately for Feng Tianwei. Flip goes up and out. The importance of keeping the ball low to the net, getting it early off the bounce, having soft hands when you come in for short play. Backhand to backhand, we've got a fan in the crowd cheering for Feng Tianwei. Standing rally, Liu Xiuwen pinned in the backhand corner, able to change it up and move it around. Over the table, flip from Feng Tianwei, but it's not enough. Liu Xiuwen has a better answer, 11 points to two. Authority if I've ever seen it. We'll see if things change in game three. Stick around, don't blink, it could be quick.
And we're back for game three. Feng Tianwei now with the serve, trailing zero games to two. Just lost the last one, 11 to two. But starting this one off with the point, a 1-0 lead. She's got half of her points from last game and a chance to tie up her last game score. Points are split one point each. Oh. One of the most successful matches for Feng Tianwei. We've seen a lot of half long serves and step around inside out forehands. What? Feng Tianwei has a strong counter game, but with the short strokes of Lucia Wen, it's going to be very difficult to anticipate where the ball is coming. So Feng Tianwei is going to have to keep it deep on the table and try to initiate early in the point. If she can't attack, maybe keep it real short. Feng Tianwei winning the Asian Cup, taking down several Chinese players along the way. Liu Xiu won in the finals. Fans recognizing they were on camera. Excellent power on the reach. Feng Tianwei from down low at the table, able to get some off the bounce speed. Spinny backhand. I think the change of pace was the real problem, not just the spin. Lucia Wynn trying to cover, playing it out wide to the back end. Not able to control. And in the touch game, short to the net. Lucia Wynn takes the point. This is a clever one-two combination. Serve short to the middle, short to the forehand, and while the opponent is receiving in at the table, follow up with a shot deep to the backhand corner. Very difficult to recover from being in over the table with such little time. That's exactly what happened in the last point. Lucia Wynn's footwork is so impressive. She just hops around in the backcourt, quick shuffles. Was able to step for the opening shot, sort of slide over to the backhand side and take the forehand shot. Half long serve going to be called a let. Feng Tianwei has outscored her score last game. Still looking grim right now for Feng Tianwei. You should win in better form than I've seen her in in some time. Now, Lu Xiuwen has some motivation here. At the World Championships, had the lead at 2-0 when the ankle injury, the rolled ankle of Ding Ning came up. In a very dramatic fashion, Liu Xiuwen was not able to win that match. So she'd love to be able to take the match back here if she, if she can. Seven game points for Liu Xiuwen to go up three games to zero over Feng Tianwei of Singapore. So much power with that opening backhand from Feng Tianwei, but it's not enough. Lu Xiuwen 11-3 following her 11-2 game two. 
Something's gonna have to change for Feng Tianwei or this is gonna be 4-0. Liu Xiuwen has the chance next game. Stay with us to see what happens. Back for game four, Liu Xiuwen leading comfortably three games to zero over Feng Tianwei. Up. Top of the net, but no table for Feng Tianwei. Liu Xiuwen gets the first point. Two times on the top of the net, a little bit of a rail slide there. Up. In the backhand cross court, Liu Xiuwen again, starting confidently, taking the first two points. So while Lucia one has not lost a point yet this game, she hasn't lost a game yet this tournament. Oh. So far, Feng Tianwei hasn't changed that. The timeout is called Feng Tianwei. Make a chance to chat with Coach Jing. Feng Tianwei has only lost one game so far this tournament, and that was to Hitomi Sato, the up-and-coming defender from Japan, the front runner for the under-21s events at the World Tour Grand Finals coming up this year in Lisbon, the race to Lisbon, Portugal. Should be an exciting event in December. For those of you who saw it last year in Bangkok, Thailand, outstanding presentation. Very elastic bounce back from Feng Tianwei in the backhand corner, but not able to control Liu Xiuwen's spin and speed off the bounce. What up? If this match were a boy band, it would not be in sync, it would be one direction. This is a one-way street right now for Liu Xiuwen. What? Over the table, backhand with some side spin on it. That's Feng Tianwei's first point this game. It's interesting to see Lu Xiuwen feeling the pressure to finish that point with such a rushed, aggressive shot. Her shorter stroke shots have been managing fine so far. Won the first five points with that. Feng Tianwei spinning it to the middle. Maybe sort of dangling a little bait out there for Liu Xiuwen. He's trying to get Feng Tianwei back into this match. They want to see some challenge for their players. The cheering seems to help. That's four points in a row for Feng Tianwei. Feng Tianwei, Jiao. Rocket backhand off the bounce from Liu Xiuwen. Again, the timing, you'd see it didn't take much backswing or even follow through from Liu Xiuwen. A serve low to the net and a well timed. They're against the top spin. And a 
effective serve from Feng Tianwei earns an outright point. Clever idea from Liu Shuwen sees Feng Tianwei turning the corner. A little bit of side spin on that reverse pendulum serve. Caused the ball to carry out wide. Now it's tied up at six points each. That's six out of the last seven points that have gone to Feng Tianwei. Gone the Feng Tianwei way. Service again the importance of keeping serves low to the net. Backhand goes just long. Feng Tianwei taking the lead. Again was down 0 5. We know Feng Tianwei can be a comeback artist. Quite focused mental game. You can see it on the face of Feng Tianwei. And the train continues. Have the street signs been turned around out here or what? Well, I can't see everybody who's cheering, but it sounds like a pretty good percentage of the crowd is behind Feng Tianwei right now. Outstanding rally, Feng Tianwei. Just one more shot than her opponent. Backhand to backhand. Nine out of the last 10 points have gone to Feng Tianwei. 90% of the last 10 points. She's two points away from putting a game on the board, taking the first game off of Lu Xuan for anybody this tournament. Lu Xuan finds the middle right on the elbow of Feng Tianwei to stop the train. At least temporarily, if anything, we'll see. Some deep breaths and a gulp there from Feng Tianwei. Inside out forehand, but it's the finishing forehand to the short side of the table. Earns three game points for Feng Tianwei. Some risky shots, very bold, taking them right off the bounce. services in a row against three game points for Feng Tianwei. The serve works. Half long in the middle with some underspin, a good amount of it I'd say. Feng Tianwei not able to use the backhand received to lift it up and spin it. Forehand comes back to the open table. Well anticipated from Liu Xuan covering the middle and turning. Watch this again. Long push. And just a short flick stroke there. Again, just a little snap. The head of the racket probably didn't travel more than the foot, foot and a half on that shot. Two at most. One more game point left for Feng Tianwei. This time changes up the placement wide inside out. Two forehands in a row, and Liu Xuan able to bring it back. Three game points saved. Look at this. The step around wide, even wider, and Liu Xuan covers, and then turns herself to impose a threat. Now a deuce in game four. Liu Xuan has the serve. The pressure. Feng Tianwei not taking it well. That's four points in a row and the heartbeat is back. The heartbeat that represents match point for Liu Xuan. Fast long serve and the inside out shot again deep to the backhand corner fools Liu Xuan. 
Feng Tianwei lives to fight at least another point. We have two more points played as the player has to win a game by two points, two point differential. So it's the second deuce point in game four. Liu Xiuwen deep in thought about her service choice here. Opening backhand clips the top of the net. Heavy push from Feng Tianwei deep on the table. Very effective. And this is the fourth game point for Feng Tianwei this game. Hits the backhand, missed contact off the top edge of the blade, and we're gonna see another deuce. They've got a towel break, but it seems like neither player's going for the towel. Right idea from Feng Tianwei, the big shot cross court to the backhand, tries to play the middle, but overdoes it by just a little bit. They're cheering for Feng Tianwei here. Feng Tianwei Jiao, you can hear it. But it's another match point for Liu Xiuwen. Spin shot to the short side. She's going all in. All chips on the square for that one. Counter attack left open, just missed. Liu Xiuwen has made it several times before, and they are at their fourth deuce point this game. from both players. Spinny shot deep into the backhand. Another opportunity for Feng Tianwei earns another game point. Forehand to finish it, Feng Tianwei finally finishes off this game with a big forehand and has a chance to come back. It's a long way to go, but she's gonna see the light of day and the light of game five just after this. Feng Tianwei down 1-3. Stay here to see what happens in game five. Feng Tianwei taking the last game in fashion at 15-13. Nerve-wracking experience for everyone in the crowd, Feng Tianwei and coach especially after being up 10-7 and then having to fight several deuce points. Takes the first point in game five, fast long serve into the backhand. Could be a question of confidence. Not only Feng Tianwei's confidence, but maybe lowering the confidence of Lu Xiuwen, giving her something to worry about. Takes two to tango. Oh. And in this tug of war we call table tennis, you never know how much of it is your opponent and how much of it is you. You can definitely control one side of the table, your own. Do your best to control the other. Classic check for a high toss serve. What? And despite the look up at the lights, not an especially high toss serve, a little bit higher than head height. For those of you who've been watching all day, got to see Ai Fukuhara play earlier. Tosses the ball probably a good 20 feet in the air. More common in the female game. Oh. 
Feng Tianwei tied up at two points each. Again, game one, lost at 11-7. Game two, only got two points. Game three, only got three points before winning the fourth. So Feng Tianwei in better condition right now, starting off game five. After a quick decision to counterattack, sent into the fishing position off the table, takes a moment to rest and try to get herself back into position with this shot right here. But the pressure to keep it deep on the table, it's a fine line. It's actually literally a line on the back of the table, the white line, the baseline. So much pace from Feng Tianwei, but even more from Liu Shuwen, and Feng Tianwei is not able to block the last one back. Right off the bounce from Liu Shuwen. Again, it's that one inch punch, the short stroke. Step around Quick. forehand, even with the length of the table, Feng Tianwei is not able to block it back. There's the temptation to hit it to the open court, but sometimes just blocking it right back into the backhand corner. Catching the player running, breaking to cover the open forehand side. Jars them. Too good, Lucia won. Right off the bounce. And watch her redirect this ball. No problem, calm. Just turns her shoulders a little bit and changes the angle of the racket. Ball Chris. comes long, but not by much, and it's a little bit of a traffic jam right at the back edge of the table. Lucia Wun not with a comfortable shot. From Tianwei using her serve wisely. Again, not always how much spin is on it, usually more so how deceptive it is, but that was a great example of placement. Up. All of these things factors on the serve right now. Feng Tianwei had a good Difficult shot with a lot of spin, but Feng Tianwei has been known to handle that. Sounds like there's a baby crying in the crowd. Big fan of Feng Tianwei. Really not happy to see her losing. Beautiful play. We'll see if that quiets the baby up in the crowd. Baby should be satisfied with this. Right off the bounce, wide angle from Feng Tianwei. That'd be a clever way to sort of hide a coach in the audience. A baby that's trained to cry when you're losing. Stop when you're winning. Inside out forehand finds the net. Cannot be an even exchange of points at this rate. Liu Shuwen leading eight points to four. Again, not a whole lot of towel use from these players in this match. Just missing wide. Listening to see if the crying stopped. Definitely quieted down. What if it's not even a real baby? What if it's just an electronic recording of a baby's voice that's turned quiet? Feng hey. Tianwei making her break. You can see the sweat, the pressure starting to come into Lucia One. So it's a three game to one lead. Even leading in this game, Feng Tianwei's shown that she can come back. Beautiful spin shot out to the open side. Liu Shuwen extending her lead. With such short strokes, it's very difficult to anticipate where Liu Shuwen is gonna hit the ball. Feng Tianwei spins the first one up safely, tries to go a little bit more side spin on the inside out forehand from the middle and the follow up. Lower percentage shot, and it is four match points for Liu Shuwen. Spin ball at the back of the table finds the net, and Liu Shuwen will be moving on to the women's singles semifinals over Feng Tianwei.
She got her revenge from the 2015 Asian Cup after losing two games to four against Feng Tianwei. Lu Xuan dominates four games to one. You can see the scores there for recap. Not more than seven points in any one game except for the 15 to 13 win from Feng Tianwei. So Lu Xuan with the second to last match of the night, moving on, having a chance to rest and prepare for tomorrow.